Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Remake. When we last left off, we were trying to find three medallions, and it's been about a thousand years since I've played this game. However, I have been playing it myself off camera, uh, obviously, because it's Resident Evil, man. I mean, come on. And there's only so many videos I can record. But I haven't got out of the police station yet, but I have found some cool stuff, which I am going to uh, fully exploit here. I have the locations to some of the Mr. Mar uh, Mr. Raccoons, which are very useful because if we complete the game with all Mr. Raccoons, Oh, wow, look at that. One hour, 13 minutes on my personal game. I've completed the police station with all the medallions without getting hit in, um, yeah, without taking any damage in less than an hour. So, damn, I've improved just a little bit. Yeah, so all of these safes and things, I know the combinations too because I have uh, already done them and I have them written down. I have them all written down in my book as I found them, as well as the locations of a lot of the Mr. Raccoons. Uh, so. What, what, what? Ah, waiting room. So this is six left, two right, 11 left. So, six left. What's that? Two right. Shit. Fuck that one up. And again. Six left, two right, eleven left. There we go. I also have all of the locker keys as well. Because I was watching some uh somebody else play this game. So yeah, I mean we're meta gaming a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. But if we find all of the Mr. Raccoons, um, we unlock an infinite knife. And holy crap, guys! From playing this off camera, man, the knife. Okay, now in previous Resident Evils, you're always led to believe the knife is shit and you should never use it. Not so in this one. Oh my god, not so in this one. Um, in this one, the knife is... So, oh, we haven't even got that yet. The knife is so freaking powerful. It's unreal. Okay. So, we need to get the last two medallions. We've got the bolt cutters. Mm -hmm. I've just got to try and remember. Like, we haven't been to that bathroom yet, so we can go grab that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were just about to go back into there to get all of our goodies, weren't we? I'll remember. I'll remember. And, of course, that is back here. This is the problem, because I've got, like, five games of this on the go. I'm trying to remember where you are and what you've done is quite the challenge, especially as I haven't played this file for ages. Now, do we leave any zombies in here? I don't think so. But we do have some more gum gunpowder. Gunpowder is amazing, by the way. Um, and there isn't like a huge amount of combinations that you can make ammo out of, but it's very good and very useful for just making like standard handgun bullets. Like seriously, the standard handgun is pretty boss, to be honest. Let me just check East Hall. Okay. So there's no Mr. Raccoons in here. Cool. So we've got the valve handle. So that's what we've got to go use next. However, before we do that, let's go double check that we've unlocked all of the lockers so far. Because there's some useful stuff in the lockers. I mean, it's not like going to you know, make a massive difference to your game or anything like that. But there is some good stuff. Have we only got one knife? No, we've got another combat knife. That's good. Take the boards as well. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here, Claire. Let's go. 
Now, it's crazy just how much a little bit of improvement uh, from playing this game you can actually get. It's crazy how much better you can get, I should say. Uh, now, I'm not going to say, like, I'm MLG Pro, but... Oh, hello, sir. Alright, let's go to work on this guy. The hell's up with him? He's a zombie, Claire. That's kind of what's up with him. I don't want to worry you or anything. Think he's dead. Let's board this up. Uh, one thing I don't know, like, if a zombie comes through a door... Like, is that it, then? Are you ever going to get another zombie to come through that? Uh, uh, a zombie, uh, <laughs> Start that again, shall we? If a zombie comes through a window, does the zombie ever come back through the window? I actually don't know the answer to that yet. There should be some more Zeds down here, I think. Hello, you son of a fucking bitch. What's the matter, matey? Can't you get past the boards? My heart, she bleeds for you, my friend. All right, let's put another magazine in there. Okay. Ah, uh, and you, sir, you are stuck on the outside as well. <laughs> How does it feel to be an outsider looking in? All right, we're clear here. That's fine. Oh. Hmm, there's always one. We don't have any boards either, do we? Uh, let's not worry about him too much. Fuck you, buddy. Um... So where are we on the map? Mm -hmm. So that's the art room. That's for the crank handle. Okay. What am I looking for? Records room. Ah, right. There's another Mr. Raccoon in there. But we haven't been there yet, so that's cool. We're actually up to date, I think, with our raccoons. Which is good. Let's crack that bad boy. Now, have we... Yeah, we've used that up now. Excellent. Chuck it away. I wish if you chucked like items away, you get you got to keep them. Oh my god, yeah, we gotta get the detonator. Cool. Alright, Claire. And that's where we can find the first locker hint. Cap. We're gonna have that herb as well. Have we used healing items yet? Probably. Kind of crazy that we've used healing items. Cause to be honest, like on this difficulty. What's that? Oh we got some bullets there that we can pick up. Though no 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 that won't do. I'm gonna have to go get those. Yeah, uh, on this difficulty, like so far, um, it's probably gonna be harder when I'm commentating because it generally is. But it's really not hard to avoid the zombies or the liquors for that matter because you can just walk past them with pretty much no fucks given. So we've done all that. Let's go round here. Let's go jiggle our junk around. Hello, my friend. Happy to see you. Enjoying it outside in the rain. <laughs> no inside for you. Right, what have we got here? We don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, we got the weapon. Fuck's sake. Man, I have seriously come down with a dumb. Right, we don't need that yet either. Cool. But... There are some lockers that we may or may not have opened. Yeah, piss off, pal. Now, did we get this zombie down here? We did. We killed her. I'd say she's dead. Pretty hard to tell sometimes. Um, locker in here. That is... Uh, was this... Yeah, this one's cap. I can remember that off the top of my head. 
Ooh, some spicy grenade ammo. And my god, guys. Oh my god, the grenade launcher is a seriously spicy meatball. Now we could go in there and do that. Valve. Jack. We can't use the jack yet. Where was the other safe? Did we raid the other safe? We didn't. Okay. So we've got to go back down, grab that. All right. Oh, up here. There was another uh, locker, I believe. Let's go have a look. Because I've been playing this uh, offline as, as Leon, uh, I believe. There we go. And this one, Mag, I believe. Can't be mag. Uh, DCM. D C M. Can put my trusty little book of secrets back. These things, man. Now, what does Claire get in here? Submachine gun ammo. Okay. Cool. Cool. Definitely uh, not minding some submachine gun ammo. That's for damn sure. Right, let's head back down. Kind of tempted to go get the bullets, to be honest. But, I mean... Oh, we could go get the grenade launcher. I suppose. Now, the grenade launcher... I mean, seriously, guys. The grenade launcher kicks some serious fucking ass. I mean, there's no way to say uh, anything else. It is so good in comparison to the... Actually, if we're going to get the grenade launcher, we're going to use that socket up. We do need to go to the west room. What was in that? I think there's an expansion for your inventory in that. Which is pretty nice, to be honest. Okay, let's go back to the west room for now. Because, man, having an expanded inventory is pretty sexual. I'm going to be honest. West office. Alright. There's still some loot in here as well, apparently. Oh, better get my book of tricks back. West office is 9 left, 15 right, 2L. Uh, 9. Let's actually go left. 9. Left. And then 15, was it? Yeah. And then 7L. There we go. And this... Oh, cool. It's still the side pack for Claire. Nice. Lovely. Inventory. I love the way you can upgrade your inventory. Like, I mean, yeah, you could in the original as well. You could get two additional slots, but... Oh, okay. So that actually counted. Okay. Now remember, if a room is red, there's still stuff to do in it. Let's go get our grenade launcher. This thing is godlike. Now, I'm hearing a lot of reports from people that Mr. X is insanely hard. I have not fought Mr. X yet. So, you know. Don't know if I'm going to first fight him on stream or in this. Uh, I don't know. Alright, so let's put that there. Unfortunately, we don't get much ammo for it. Let's load that sucker up. So, we've got that. We've got the item box. We've pretty much tapped out everything here. We have not been to the bathroom yet. Let's go check the bathroom out, see if there's anything in there. As I said, you know, for our first playthrough, I'm not interested in speedrunning the game. I'm just so freaking busy enjoying it. Like, I'm not kidding, guys. I've loved this game so much. Um, oh, yeah, we can go back through here. Ah, oh, we got Zeds out here, haven't we? That's the heart key. Hmm, don't really want to fight the Zeds, to be honest. Especially as we're really tight on ammo right now. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck off. Alright, I think we're clear. Come on, Claire. Let's get moving. Now, we... that Those... Oh, you can't board those windows up, I don't think. Which is curious. Alright, fair play, fair play. Let's get our little ass out of here. And I do love this costume as well. I hope they release more costumes. I really hope they release more costumes. Because, man, they're so cool. Seriously cool. Right, so the bathroom. Why do I get the feeling that there's an F8 spray in the bathroom? Um, oh, we got a... Oh, hey, pal. You know what? I'm not really that fussed about fighting you. You're not... You're not exactly what I would call a threat now. Sunshine. So he's behind us, and it looks like in front of us is clear. Let's board that up. Sounds like we've got another Z. Ooh, bad one. We've overshot the bathroom. But we can quickly go out here. I think if you go out, um, it resets the position of the enemies. I haven't been able to confirm this yet. But considering that's what Resident Evil 7 did. Ooh, can we go out there? Out of interest. I mean, don't get me wrong. It would probably be very unwise to go out there. We're not actually getting a prompt to go out there, to be honest. Yeah, so it looks like when you exit a room, it actually resets the enemies. We can abuse that. We can certainly abuse that. Jack in here. Ah, there is an F spray. F8 spray in here. Or fart aid spray, as we used to call them as kids. Uh, this room is now empty. Right, Claire. Let's not dilly-dally too much longer. Let's go dance. Dance with a... Oh, I don't know, actually. Unless that's where he spawns. Perhaps. Let's just run around the bitey end. Yeah, zombies aren't too bad to dodge as long as you've got, like, a big space. He's not going to come into here because this is a safe room. Hmm. Right, so let's go back. Let's go back and use our valve handle. Because that seems like a pretty good thing to do right now. Are you okay, Claire? Yeah, she's fine. Of course she's fine. Claire is always fine. She's a Redfield. Why wouldn't she be fine? I uh, need to go up the dark room. And then we can use our valve handle. Uh, why am I down here? See, it's kind of annoying. I can already tell that my skills, or lack thereof, have waned a little bit. Because before I went back to work, I was playing the shit out of this. And I knew this place like the back of my hand. Uh, don't need the F.A. spray. Fuck off, pal. If you think I'm going to play with you, you got another thing coming, mate. Let's drop that. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Valve handle we're just about to use up. We've only got three grenade rounds. That doesn't seem like a lot. Oh, well, technically four with one in the chamber, but... Mm. We should be okay. Uh, we need to go through Ha. Hello, my little steamy room. Let's use you. We want to save as many bullets as we can, because... Um, there really is not a lot of ammo in this game. I mean, there is. That's a lie. But if you're going to fight everything... You are going to struggle. It's not like the original Resident Evils, where you could happily kill everything and have ammo left over. Alright, mate. Calm down. Might not happen. Um, in this one, 
you really have to be a little bit smarter with your resources. Now, as I said, the knife is great. The best method that I have found of, with dealing with enemies... Uh, and I have lost my drink. I probably left it in the kitchen. Sad day indeed. Um, yeah, the best way I've found of dealing with enemies is blowing their legs off. Uh, because the legs does seem to be a fairly weak point. And once you've blown their legs off, you can knife them to death. Ooh. Atmospheric. Hey, big fella. The hell is that? that is our liquor friend. And he's a bit of a dick. But there's kind of a cool mechanic, and I do have to get up now, because the cat's opened the room. Open the room. Open the door, and she's letting the heat out. Um... There's a cool mechanic with liquors. They are actually totally blind in this game. And it's quite well used. They are literally blind. Like, you can practically get up to them and touch them. As long as you don't run or make a sound, they're fine. However, if you do engage them, they are brutal. They are so deadly in this. It's crazy. I love it. I love how strong they are. But, as I've said, I haven't got that far into the game yet. So, anyway, guys, give me a minute. I need to sort my bloody door out of my cat. Now, yeah, where was we? Ooh, yes. Liquors. Hey, fella. We don't want to play with you. We could play with you. But it would be a huge waste of resources. So, we've got Red Herb. We'll have that bad boy. And the Star's Office. <gasps> Look at this. That's the battery we need for our detonator, because it's missing the battery. So what have we got here? An internal memo. This is Wesker's office, which is cool. Office supply, internal relocation notice. Heat resistant number three combination safes moved to office F2 to West office F1. Oh, moved from Star's office. Okay. And there's the code to that. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. They obviously did not, which is good for us. A little bit later on, I know there's something more we can do in this, but look at how cool this office is. It looks way more like an actual office. Whereas before it kind of... Well, no, before it looked fine, but, you know, it's just been updated in a way that looks cool. I've heard a lot of people complain about the fact they're using out-of-date computers and whatnot. It, it seems to be like a lot of new players playing this don't realise it's set in 1998. Alright, let's grab that. Because we need these. And, of course, Rebecca Chambers' office, or desk, still has the FA spray in it, which is nice. We've got some gunpowder. What else do we have in here? It's a shame, like, the weapon locker is no longer there, however, but the dartboard is, hmm, except the dartboard was next to the, uh, next to the door in the original, but we didn't have this little outcrop here, it was a much more rectangular room before, but I'm guessing this is Barry's desk, because he's got all sorts of guns and shit everywhere, but this is where the weapons locker is now. And it's got the Mac 10 in it for Claire. Whereas for Leon, I think it's got the Magnum. So they've kept the weapon differences, which is good. Ooh, flashbang. We'll have that bad boy. Um, now, made in heaven. So this has got to be Chris's desk. Ah, Resident Evil. Chris must be a bit of a gamer then. And plays guitar as well, question mark. Yeah. Is there anything that man cannot do? So, yeah. Um, interesting. The Made in Heaven. Uh, there's still something in here. I know that somewhere in here... There he is, I think. 
Nope. Somewhere in here. There is a Mr. Raccoon. Hey, buddy. Where are you? Got bottles. I know you're here, Sunny Jim. I know you're here. We couldn't have destroyed it yet because... Couldn't have destroyed it yet, because we haven't been here yet. Ah, there you are. Uh, why is it not there? No, seriously, why is it not there? Okay. I was confused about that. Hmm, no matter. There's still something in here though, but I think it's these computers. So what do we have? Uh, I guess we need something for it. Armory door. Ah, okay, so this is to open the armory door. Gotcha. Yeah, so we need to insert a USB stick. Now, is there anything else in here to grab before we am scrape out of here? I don't know why Mr. Raccoon's not there. Did I get that? I mean, yeah, I've got it on another playthrough, but does it all count? That's interesting, actually. Hmm. Okay. All right, now our friend Licker is out here. So we go going to be very, very quiet. Because we don't want to play with the liquor. We could easily kill it with a grenade launcher, but... I want to save my grenades. Hey, my friend. Hey, buddy. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't make me put you down, boy. Because I will, if you don't get out of my freaking way. You become a problem, my friend. You die. You have five seconds to comply. Four, three, two, one. Yeah. Fuck you then, pal. I warned you, buddy. You had the choice. You made the decision, not me. Ah, oh, well, at least his corridor's safe, so, you know, I mean, there's that. Kind of didn't want to waste that on him, to be honest. Linen room we can't get into yet. Club key needed. Hmm. But now we can unlock this room. And get another one of these. Um, that leads into the library, doesn't it? Ah, have we got a lot of enemies in the library? Probably no. I think we killed them all. Why did we kill them all? Like, I was playing this like the same way I play other Resident Evil games, and you kind of can't really do that. So this is the lion one. No, this is the unicorn. So we need the fish. Uh, I think that's like some kind of pot, and we need the scorpion. Fish. Some kind of ah scorpion. A pot thing? Or is it that? That. There it is. It is actually a pot. Nice. Give it to me. Oh, we're almost out of space. Well, we are out of space. A little bit awkward. Wow, we did kill everything in here. And there's still stuff to do. But is there stuff to do? Or is there something to pick up? You ain't having any of this ass today, boy. I'm sorry to disappoint you. This ass is off the market. 
Ooh, yeah, that's the jack. But we can't do anything with the jack yet. Yes, 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 yes. You could dream about taking a bite out of this peach. Ooh, you like, my friend. But it's never going to happen, see? Well, never say never. Okay. So, we've got another... Ah, we need to go to the live... No, we don't need to go to the library. Lounge. Oh, there's a map there. Well, we'll come grab it later. So, we can't get to the armory. What's that? PC. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Ah, that's actually highlighted the uh, MQ-11. Um, so, we need the crank handle slot. I think we're just about out of time as well. So, actually, if we're out of time, let's just go grab the map. As I said, we're not speed running it on our first playthrough. What's that? First playthrough? Oh, yeah, we're going to play this a couple of times. Mm. Yeah, he kind of like resets to that central position, which is fine. He will come through that door, though. Which, obviously, is bad news for us. Oh, you son of a bitch. I guess he is going to have a bite of Claire's ass. Well, fair play, buddy. I guess you earned it, to be fair. What I should have done there is wait for him to come through the door. Because when they initially burst through, you get a few uh, frames to actually run through. I apologize, Claire. That was my fault. I shouldn't have uh, dangled your delicious ass in front of him, to be fair. It's not so bad for Leon, because Leon has no ass. So... I suppose you have to offer up his handsome face instead. Now. Drop, 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 drop. Let's get a herb. Oh my god, we've really used... We've really used some, some supplies here. That's not great, is it? Okay, let's go stick this medallion where it needs to be. A little bit something like that. And let's put the battery in our detonator, see if we examine it. Some sort of electronic gadget. Detonator, no battery. A detonator for C4 explosive is missing a battery. Well, we so happen to have a 9 volt Duracell right here. Kind of. Oh, it's a ropeway. Standard 9 volt battery. And there we go. That's looking alive and very intimidating. All right, let's bring Claire back up to fine. Right, anyway, my friends, I'm going to have to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. And as always, till next time, thanks for watching.